Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel of mprugs.com, a video channel that is devoted to Persian rugs and carpets from around the world. My name is Mike Pana. I'm the moderator in this many series of Persian rug videos that are all part of our website at mprugs.com and also, like I said, here on the YouTube channel. And in this video, I want to briefly introduce you to a very popular type of what we call Persian rugs. As far as I'm concerned, they're Persian rugs. I know there are a lot of people out there that seem to have very strong opinions. Well, I consider these Afghan made, these are handmade Afghan rugs. I call them Persian rugs. So to me, Afghans, Persians, all the same. That's just who I am. But in this video, this is all about handmade Afghan tribal rugs that have become very popular. Also fairly inexpensive. These are commonly found in um, furniture stores. You can readily get them online. And they're not as expensive. Uh, these are typically wool made, like I'm gonna be showing you about seven or eight examples. Um, these are very, um, really inexpensive uh, wool based rugs. Sometimes they use, uh, depending on the region of Afghanistan, I have seen carpets that are made with sheep wool, goat, as well as um oh my goodness now i'm losing it i'm sorry goats and sheep and um also that's what i meant to say some of them actually use cotton foundation sometimes they also use the goat hair and they actually spring that into yarn and they use that as a foundation that's what i was trying to say but in this video what i'm with what i thought i'm um I'm gonna do as always I'm gonna get behind the camera I'm gonna show you seven or eight examples of what is generally called the Khal Mohammadi which is what you see right here and then there is other types of rugs uh, also known as the Kunduz and these are generally the rugs that are named after the regions of Afghanistan where the rugs are made um, but they are very common to someone who is a novice to myself um, Even though I'm surrounded by rugs all day every day to me the Afghan rugs are very similar in uh, Material in the workmanship the designs the colors but because of their muted colors and you will see um, This is a perfect example right here they're really great as a decor rug, or if you're looking for a good quality carpet that will last you for many years, you want something that's handmade, something that has a little bit of a history, but you also don't want to spend a lot of money. Well, this is a type of rug that would be perfectly suitable, um, also because of the colors. The Afghan carpets don't have very bold colors very subtle as you can see with the darker reds they're not the kind of carpets that have a design that screams in your face but instead it's much more muted where it works very well with most especially rustic or classic uh, decor so I'm gonna, as I'm always gonna do I'm gonna get behind the camera and then I'm gonna show you different examples and this, like I said, this is all about the Afghan rugs. So I'm gonna see you again here in just a second as soon as I get behind the camera there. So here I'm back again behind the camera and just to get things started, as I mentioned, this is a beautiful, perfect example of what an Afghan rug is all about. Here we have a Khal Mohammadi and I'm showing you both the light as well as the dark side. Um, it is kind of bright in our warehouse here. 
these are actually it's almost like a burgundy um this is a deep red color um it is not as shiny as you're going to be seeing in the video and um I kind of leave the brightness of the video because I want to bring out the colors. It helps with the colors. The drawback is sometimes, as in the case with these rugs, you will see that the rugs, when you see them in person, they're actually not as bright. But you can get a good idea for the designs and the colors. Here you have an Afghan-made rug. Um, this is also Khal Muhammadi. This is, but this one features a Bukhara design. The Bukhara design is one of the most classic Afghan as well as Pakistani designs. Um, here, for example, is another Khal Muhammadi. Um, beautiful, deep red color. Um, and then you have the black which almost the black design and everything. And these designs date back centuries. If you were to look at, especially in Afghanistan, if you look at the architecture where they built some of the temples, they built sculptures into the mountains, into the sides, um, and this is actually also something that I noticed with the American Navajo rugs. Um, I always kind of, I see the similarities in the cultures where in some Native American cultures, they build their homes into the mountainsides, into the hills and the mountains. In Afghanistan, in some places, they did similar things. And what I have noticed is that the designs of the rugs tend to be very similar. So, um, but there is a very distinct difference in quality. Here, for example, is an, this is another, this is a Kunduz piece, the same with the previous one. Um, Kunduz and Khal Muhammadi are regions in southern Afghanistan. Um, here again, Khal Muhammadi, but these are very similar in terms of price, in terms of quality. This is a very nice, firm um, wool pile. They'll last you many, many years. Um, but again, these are because they are, basically this is what they make. And because they make them, um, in large quantities, these are typically made in homes, um, and then the families will sell them on the markets, typically to the wholesalers there, who then turn around and then resell them, and then so on. But they're very, they tend to be, you know, a few hundred dollars. Not, this is not a hugely expensive adventure. Um, here, for example, is another Kunduz. Here is another Kunduz. And then here is, lastly, a Khal Muhammadi. So as you can see, this is very traditional. Colors, designs, very similar. So if you are looking at buying an Afghan traditional tribal rug like these, do not expend, don't expect to spend a large sum of money. You're going to be getting a really nice rug. There is a lot of rich history to it. I personally like them. There is a lot of respect. There is a lot of tradition. I'm looking at a rug that literally it feels like it's telling the story of people that goes back centuries. And having many good I have nothing but respect for so many Afghan people. Some of the hardest working, um, honest people that I've ever had the fortune of meeting. I'm not getting involved in politics or religion. I just want to say that I have nothing but personal respect. And when I see the carpets here, I see history. So even though they're all very similar to each other, I think they all speak for themselves. 
So I hope you liked the video about the Afghan tribal rugs. Feel free to look at our website at mprugs.com for more information. And if you want to, feel free to subscribe to our channel as we are constantly add more videos. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section, or you can always email us through our website and we look, you know, we'll do our best to get back to you when we can. Thanks a lot and best wishes to you all. Bye-bye.